Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, I've been a little wrapped up with some motor trend stuff, uh, some hot rod garage stuff, um, some roadkill stuff, or roadkill garage stuff, or I don't even actually know how to categorize that. But um, as you can see, the shop is still packed full of stuff. Um, 57 truck is super close. I actually drove it up on here. Drive south, so I gotta clean up some wiring. Uh, do some e-brake cable mounting, uh, get some special hardware made to hold the bed on just so it looks nice from the inside. Uh, cooling system's done, steers, power steering, wrap, everything works. This thing is turnkey and a cruiser. Um, uh, about ready to get started on this for uh, David. Complete rewire, dash out, um, Detroit or Dakota Digital Instrument Cluster, Dakota Clock. Yeah, lots of stuff going on right here. Just got to make some time to get started on it. He said no hurry. And uh, I think that's because he has so many cars. Uh, I wonder if he remembers he even has this. Um, I did swing over to Ace the other day and picked up my motor for the two-door wagon. So that is sitting here. It's usually covered. Uh, but I just... Uh, took the cover. Actually, I needed a rag because I was working on this right here. 650 horse, 650 foot-pounds of torque. LT4 for Dax's OBS truck, 90 SS454. Um, just got done taking off the stock oil pan, cooler and all that stuff and installing the Holly kit to make room for the cross member. It also has the Holly accessory drive on it now, which relocates the air conditioning pump from down here, which is where the steering gearbox is on the frame normally, to up here, a nice spot for it to be waiting for one bracket to mount the uh, power steering pump. And then that will be going back together. The uh, air conditioning, water pump, and alternator belt is installed. You gotta do the boost pump and power steering pump next. Uh, power steering pump may have its own pulley, or own belt, not certain. But uh, took off the old uh, oil pan and installed the new one. Made a quick video. Here it is. Enjoy. So an important issue that you need to avoid when you're ever putting any uh, performance motors together that you think you're gonna be doing some steering with, uh, going through the curves and keeping your foot into it and stuff, is the pickup going dry. You don't ever wanna see the pickup go dry. It goes dry just for a second, it's gonna hit you in the wallet. A lot of companies make these. This is a pickup baffle. It has little trap doors. It goes in the bottom of your oil pan. The pickup sits inside there. The little cup sits inside there. Sucks oil from the bottom when you go into turns. The little doors open and close to allow oil to go in, but slow down the, the 
the oil leaving the pickup so the pickup never goes dry. This is a windage tray to stop the oil from getting on the crankshaft during rotation. As you can see inside here, it's sort of a tight little area. You would think that the oil won't leave, but they're more concerned with the oil getting down past everything and getting into the bottom. And under normal driving conditions, that's fine. It'll work great. However, this thing's not gonna be anything, it's gonna be anything but normal. Take note, when I took off the pickup, there was a black screw here, hardened screw, two hardened ones there. I'll make sure they go back in the right place. Here is the pickup. Oil pickup. Upper part of the window tray, sort of a splash guard. This is all clean. Everything is new, so it's okay to stack it. This will go down inside there. The pickup will sit right in the middle. It goes in a very specific way. You automatically assume it goes this way or this way, like square, but it doesn't. It goes in at an angle designed to clear the pickup. So we don't install this anymore because that baffle is going to take the place of it. You can see it won't go all the way down.
take a little acetone, make sure you wipe off all the uh, oil on the mating surfaces. These don't use gaskets, it's all silicone. Depending on what rag you use, make sure a bunch of lint and crap does not get inside the motor. A little extra on the surfaces that where the gaskets mate. Remember when you do that, don't go crazy and put a bunch on there. It will end up squeezing into the inside and at some point make a mess. I'm looking at the pattern, the way the dealer did it. They didn't put a lot right here. They just did the outside like that. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. You can see right where they did it, right through the middle and around each, each bolt hole. The amount of care you take in sealing up the oil pan makes a difference between a stain and your driveway. So take your time, no rush. Some of these bolt holes could go into oil. Well, they don't look like it, but you never can tell. So it doesn't hurt to just touch around them to make sure they're gonna be sealed. I've seen bolt holes before, not on LSs, but on other motors that go into water jackets and oil galleys. The reason you don't have to go crazy around these is because on the oil pan there is a seal. So try to keep that away from that area. Okay, I feel good about this. Touch up just a couple of spots. Remember, this is gonna be very thin, the surface here. So uh, the smallest amount of silicone is all you really need. Okay. Oh, tech tip, you get done using a silicone tube, cut it off, it's fresh silicone. I hate picking up used ones and it's all hardened. So I squeeze a little bit out. About that much, put a bend in it so it's not laying on the ground. And then set it someplace and let it dry. Now next time you go to use it, you just snap off that little rubber dolly right there on the end and 
good to go. Okay, remember there's a little bit of oil in this pan. You need to do this sort of in a nice fluid motion. Making sure it's all still clean and dry, and it is. One quick check to make sure I didn't miss any spots. A little extra attention where the other gaskets, the front and back covers attach. One of the good things about this oil pan is alignment dowels. Not just the oil pan, the motor. Alignment dowels on the oil pan. Makes it pretty easy. Start from the middle, cross pattern, work your way out. That's just a snug end, you still need to torque it.
Okay, if you remember when I was putting this thing together, we're putting the silicone, I favored the outside, and as I tightened it, just a small bead of silicone has come out all the way around. Which means most likely not hanging over on the inside. And that's what you want. All right, I'm gonna swap over some sensors from the original oil pan, some other stuff, and then we're gonna start talking about fitting this thing into the car. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Lots more coming, especially on this OBS truck with the LT4 in it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, leave a note, leave a message. Let me know what you're thinking. See you guys.